Hello everybody, welcome to another Scrying Pool podcast. This is the seventh, and this is the Everybody is Sick edition of the of this podcast. It is January, and it is that time of year. Uh, so if there's, there's the occasional cough, please excuse me and half of the people who are actually in the chat right now. Um... <laughs> No, Rubik, I will not be more creative with my first word. I will not say anything other than hello. Anyways, yes, this is anyways, this is the uh for this is covering the last three or four updates of December and what we have seen in the January BTS. And today I am here with Kitten. I feel like crap. <laughs> Robo. <laughs> Hello. Lime. Ah! Okay. Rubik. Hello. Um, and Orange and Walter are both in the chat. Orange may pipe up at some point, but I maybe not. Probably not. But yeah, so we've got a we've got a short or uh, a small group of people here. <laughs> Nothing like the ten that we had last time, and a much shorter lineup so this should if this takes two and a half hours we are all doing something horribly horribly wrong um <laughs> to that i don't think any of our voices in their current state can last for that long so no <laughs> no but yeah anyway so we're gonna go ahead get right on into this um in december we the last podcast was slightly later on than we probably wanted it to be, so we already had the release of Brink of Extinction. So we'll just briefly mention that's the, the Grandmaster Tsar quest. It was released first week of December. Um, it unlocked the Fight Cauldron, new Obsidian Armor, um, etc. If you want more for that discussion, check out last week's podcast. I guess I'll put up a link in the in the comments or something. Um, Rubik finally did it. I did finally do and it. Rubik does does not, in fact, need to run away for spoiler purposes now. So that's good. Yeah. Oh, player on ports is something I might leave for. There's but... there's nothing. <laughs> <sighs> I'm just kidding. Let's move on. <laughs> okay. Don't be don't be a kitty, please. <laughs> Wait, Kitty. what about Kitty? Just... Kitty, f- Kitty freaks out about player on port spoilers. Not kitten, Kitty. Kitty, not Kitty. Yeah, I hate when people say kitten or like talking about Kitty because now it's actually confusing me and Kitty. No, your Kitty Phantom is Kitty. Last kitten is kitten. But they do sound like very similar, so I can see very, very much how you can be like what. Yeah, so, but anyway, it's like tinfoil hats all around in that case. Yeah. I had a friend called BWR Kitty. But yeah, so I guess we'll go right into the <laughs> first, the the next, I guess, update, uh, which was kind of in play for the last um, for the last podcast that we did, but not so much. Uh, the Winter Weekends and Festive Aura. Uh, we'll touch this briefly. Uh, there, the Winter Weekends was like, what was it, Double Slayer XP, Increased Raid Drops, and uh, stuff like that, and then obviously yeah, the Festival Aura. Snowman raids. Oh yeah, and then the snowman raids. Uh, so what do you? What were you guys' <laughs> thoughts on that? I didn't really interact with it much, but I didn't do the snowman raids. I although I heard they the dropped dragon either. items. I did the raids about four times, and they I got five dragon stuff my, items myself. I had uh, dragon darts, dragon halberd, dragon. I had, but great or battle axe, something like that, and something else I can't remember off the top of my head. Walter says that the snowmen could drop you. dragon pickaxes. Really? Uh, me? No, they could not. That was a false rumor going around. They could not. Huh? Because if that, if Whoa. they could, that would be completely broken. Um, that would totally break pickaxe farming. Mm-hmm. The pickaxe only thing they they could only drop dragon weapons that were meant to like attack, not mine or woodcutter so or something they, else. So the like hatchet that. and the pickaxe were not there. Yeah, they were not there. And it it was it was just there there's a list somewhere, but yeah. Right, well. It wasn't anything over one mil in like it by itself. 
Where it, what, uh, did it drop Dragon to Handers? So I know that those are. So it did. Walter says it did. So Dragon to Handers. I know that that's a Calphite Queen and Chaos Elemental rare drop. But Wait, nobody Calphite goes and drops. farms those. So. Yeah. I've gotten a Dragon to H from the Chaos Elemental Woods. I know that that um. Was it was it, Ro you and Mo Robo, or was it what? It was somebody somebody went and do and were just like randomly killing Calphite Queen and pulled it. Oh, well, that that was me and Batman. So you got a dragon, uh, ah. dragon sheep body. I got the drop. It was, it was funny just seeing it on the ground. I was like, what? <laughs> Wait, she drops things that are worth something. Yeah. We were, uh, we were hopping world from world because the spawn takes too God, long. That spawn is so obnoxious. I went and soloed a couple of them just because. And <laughs> it was just terrible. You're just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. and Well, anyways, I guess we'll probably have more to say about the Calphite Queen later on. Mm. Um, As for yeah. the other Winter Weekends, I actually did not partake in any other ones yeah, I myself. I didn't either. I've been. I forgot what they were. I've been too busy Just with the <laughs> next topic of discussion, which we'll go into now. If... Echo. Um, am I hearing myself? Am I hearing myself? Yes, Rubik. Hmm? I can hear myself. That isn't me. It, it, your thing was flashing. It's okay now. Well, but. I didn't do anything, so... Okay, yes, uh, the, okay so nobody really cares about doubles. the we weekends. The festive aura got some raging on the forums because people didn't understand how it worked, and... <laughs> From people. what I heard, you couldn't use it in Dungeoneering, or at least not at the beginning. I don't know if they Did ever they fixed ever that. that? Does any... Yeah, you could use it in Dungeoneering. Oh, okay. At the, at the very beginning, they couldn't. We always, yeah, well, maybe at the very beginning, but we, I remember I brought it in a couple times and just um, activated it right before the ending. And Did you actually have the wings during the dungeon? Wait, what? Or there's like, did you, like, did you actually have the dungeon? Oh, yeah, it still shows. No, that's cool. that's <laughs> so dungeon. annoying, though. You keep, like, sparking, so it's just a mess of graphics. So if you have high detail on, then bloom everywhere. Bloom uh. all of the things, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, yeah, I, but I... I tried it with Dungeoning, like, the very first day or second day or something, and it didn't work for me. I think they might have fixed it, though, so... Yeah, yeah, but... Well, apparently they did fix it. People are raging about, oh my god, you can get, like, 300,000 XP a day with this, and then <laughs> and then they, they was capped at 50k. They just conveniently didn't tell anybody. But it's... And, like, let's be honest, it's for 30 minutes. You, it's pretty difficult to get that XP in that amount of time. Yeah, it takes it takes like doing construction or herblore or some something else similarly expensive. That gives a lot of XP in a short yeah, amount that, of time. Or prayer, like those are very. There's a very f small list that'll give that much XP in that little amount of time. And even then, they capped it at 50k, so who cares? Like, like yeah. m the majority of the skills, you couldn't even reach that cap even with the fastest XP hey, per hour. I wasn't even getting half of that <laughs> without the without the festive aura on my on my randomly going and fishing with it open. So, yeah. <laughs> Form Rangers. Anyways, so yeah, like it, that's there's not much to say about that. I mean, if there's whatever, it was a nice little bonus for 30 minutes yep. every day for and for at least the weekends yeah. as well. Yeah, I'm sure that the bosses and stuff were packed on those weekends, but I wouldn't know because I wasn't there. Um, I had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> The same. What winter weekend? Too busy stuffed with my head stuffed in the, the player-owned ports, which was the next update. And I think we all probably have right. quite a bit to say about this. So, um, I'll pass. Yeah, okay, Rubik does not have very much to say about this, but the rest of us probably do. And, <laughs> yep. Um, I yeah. love the update. This is like every update 
mm-hmm. or this is like the old um, browser games I used to play. So, it... may may I ask a question about um, it though? Yeah. From what I've heard, it's like where you send daily voyages. You have up to fifteen. Yes. And you send them out to like different things. You have to gather certain supplies, and then what I'm guessing this is a guess. You have to have a certain number of supplies before you can go into the next stage. Is that no. true? No. There's nope. no there's no resource requirement. There's just it's a ship like, distance requirement, I think. You have ah, to go distance. you have yeah. to go so, a certain distance and you can keep track of that and it's it it takes a good amount of time. I like the time that it requires. And it's not like grindy time. It's you take it and it you just let it go and you can do whatever you want. And at this so, so, at this point, I have a bank like in my farm. port, so I'm standing in my port fletching for the... so I can get 95 for the scrimshaw that I'm trying to make. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah. So basically, it's like the one king, the kingdom management stuff, except for it's shorter. Oh, it's it's more it's like... Um, it's, an, it's not anything like kingdom management. Like, it's kingdom more like, management, you kind of just dump it. It's kind of like farming, kingdom management, and bank standing all smashed yeah. up into one. I mean, there's a, <laughs> with the release of ports, there's a whole new um, version of bank standing that is now called port standing, where you stand outside the portal <laughs> and talk with the 20 other people that are also outside the portal port standing. Yeah. I've stood there a lot and had a lot of weird conversations and stuff going on. I've showed you some pictures yeah. of that. I've, I've seen... I have I have seen many a robo standing outside of the ports. <laughs> I'm usually in my port, but yes. <laughs> Can't wait till I get to do it. Well, hurry up and get. I've I've also heard no I've also heard there's this uh, glitch with it or bug or something. What's there's that about? Couple, there's some there, there's some interface bugs, but I'm not sure about anything with like high level players or whatever. Well, well, like like. I've heard Wooks, well, it's rumored that Wooks is bug abusing to get where he's at. I'm not sure about there, any of that. I can't comment on it. It's just people rumors. crying that someone's first. That, that's what, that was, that's what a, my uh, guess was, but I wasn't It's rumored, sure. but he's a first by so much that we think it might be a kind of... There's abuse. a very good chance that he actually did bug abuse because... Uh, the calculations of his distance and the amount of resources he has doesn't add up even in the perfect circumstances because like for example let's say he has 10,000 cherry wood six days ago he was at the same place with everyone else and if you count how long these missions take 10,000 cherry wood in that amount of time is impossible so yeah they're four yeah. hour missions once you hit the um the scythe and I have four, yeah. I have three missions of exactly four hours being sent out right now, so, yeah. Um, and the, 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 where he is, is, it is impossible to be at, as far as I know of. There's a big debate in the uh, Max forum right now. He's trying to claim that he didn't cheat or anything, so we'll see. Maybe he didn't, he's just, maybe there's just and another he, way. The pro- the, and you can't even say at this point that he spammed Mac the rerolls, because they take four hours. Yeah, I mean, even if yeah. you did have infinite voyages, there's still not enough Which time to do that. Which is something I really like, is that there's, because of that, it's, and Walter's saying it in the in the chat, um, that the, there was a sort of bug thing that was where ships came back fast, like, in two yeah. minutes, and... Apparently it's fixed yeah. now, but if you like go to the lobby or something, a lot of times that you come back and the ship would already be back. Yeah. I mean, I mean that could just be whoops. They um <laughs> just be like hopping for worlds for a boss. I mean, he could have done it by accident. Well, well there have there have been people who done it by accident, but but to do it yeah. on accident that much becomes on purpose. Yeah. Like even if it is truly by accident, it's. Like, after you do it for the fifth or sixth time, you realize what's causing it. Because, yeah. It's like that yeah. construction thing that we're going to get to in a second. Oh, look, my ship just came back in two minutes and it's supposed to take 14 yeah, hours. I mean, it's yeah. You, one. yeah. <laughs> are, how far are you in your ports, Robo? 
I'm actually very far behind most people because I'm, I'm, having, I'm having a very hard time remembering to go back I know there. You were, you were literally I know like, first for a little bit back in the whatever it is, yeah, the, the arc, I think. I, yeah, I was first back in uh, at the region three or something. Like I was the first with the most amount of uh, port points because I was doing all the story missions, but now I'm like super yeah. far behind. I'm only 25 percentable when I, like everyone else is at, like 50 percent yeah, plus. I'm at 29 to bowl. I have a question though. Is this like a player run high scores? Is there like a list at high scores where everyone can see everything? Well, uh, there is going to be a high score section for soon, but the way I know that I was first is, well, I was first on the max forums at least because they have a, a listing of all the people. They post their port scores and pictures of it, and then they put them on a list. Uh, yeah, they, I see. They did, they did cool. um, definitely say that uh, they were going to add a high scores for the ports because it is, it is a, it's, it's similar to Conquest, really. So basically, it's like the sailing skill in disguise as something else. It's a useful sailing skill. I wouldn't say yes. sailing. Like, like sailing you, you aren't sailing, of course, but it's like something else. Is what You're I mean. guiding other people who are learning to get 99 sailing. Sailing in Eastern Lands in the yeah. same update. Makes sense. It was, it was, it was great. But yeah, I mean, I, I love the ports, and I, it, it's yeah, the second. That music is catchy. That music yeah. is catchy too. One, a couple of the port songs are great. Well, at least they were like, until I had to listen yeah. to like the player on port video where several mods, Mon Mark. Oh and, my god! And, <laughs> they, I found they that had quite a lot amusing. of fun with the ports. <laughs> I have yeah. to say that that music video has to reflect RuneScape in a very positive way. It was very odd, slightly amusing, but it had its charm. I didn't actually see it, and I'm probably not going to go back and looking for it. But yeah, I'll 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 go with you on that one line. Also, the effects were terrible. What do you expect? <laughs> that was clearly kind of a spoofy video. So yeah. All right, so um, does anybody have anything to say about the story of ports? And Rubik can leave if he really is worried about that. Uh, I'm not going to leave. Um, I'm not worried about it so much. Well, uh, not a whole else? lot for me. Does anyone else want to strangle um, the missionary? Yes. Yes, I do, actually. Yes. Tomlin the transporter <coughs> needs to die. And I say that because he looks exactly like yeah. Jason Statham. Done. Okay. Wait. Orange says that uh, the occultist yes. scares him. Yeah. She is, she is kind of shit. You don't mind me saying stuff about what I've learned from the no. stories, or should go, I go. just say what I know of it? Go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Yeah. Well, it seems that uh, when I first did that, I was looking at the Trimmed Complicate Production, and it said... Uh, you had to do the Hayuji and uh, the Quinn storylines, and I was wondering what those were. I only figured it out eventually after I did most of the uh, adventurer missions, like into the second region or something. They all seem to revolve around two different things. Three of the adventurers, uh, which are the biologist, the missionary, and the convict, all go to the same island, which is Hayuji, which is an island full of sea orphans, like the uh, barmaid in the port. And uh, the other three, the assassin, the whaler, and uh, what's the other one? The occultist. Yeah, the, Al the occultist. They all seem to revolve around the Quinn. Well, they have their own personal missions, but uh, Quinn is behind everything, basically. Quinn is a sea singer, the one that we knew that... Uh, had, took control of all the sea monsters and started a huge war in the eastern lands and so that that's what stopped the port from going to the eastern land in the first place because they kept getting their ships destroyed uh let's see it's funny how they connect in the quinn storyline actually the whaler used to be a con of the of a particular island con. And, so, and so uh his uh, island got destroyed by the... Well, not destroyed. It's destroyed by Shuma, basically. And uh, what was it? Eventually, 
he found out that uh, some of the sea monsters were being sent by Quinn. From uh, he got this information from uh, someone named actually I forgot his name, but it's a reference to ponies, of course. Of course. Well, anyway, uh, can't he freaking help he himself. heard of Quinn. <sighs> yeah. He he heard of Quinn, and as he was a con, he spent all of his money, all the gold and stuff he had to uh, hire assassins to assassinate Quinn. And uh, only all the assassins were like, they didn't want to do that because they knew it was like an impossible job. Only one of the assassins, one of the Death Lotus assassins, which was the assassin we know, she used to work for the Death Lotus. Uh, she was the only one who agreed to it, and the only reason they accepted the whaler's offer was because basically all of the cons wanted Quinn dead but the whaler like was the only one who spent all of his money on it so they couldn't refuse it and so yeah the assassin was tasked with the job of assassinating Quinn she went to her island and uh, got to her palace and all and it seemed that she only had one bodyguard which was the old cultist and uh, she threw a dart at Quinn but the old cultist saw it and stopped at midair and called for other guards and well, guards around the palace that weren't uh, nearby her at the time and so the assassin had to escape the island and live in the jungle for a while but uh, the reason why she left the Death Lotus is because any assassin who fails her job well basically dies himself and so the assassin was going to have her uh, hands cut off or something or something and uh she broke free and uh, escaped the Death Lotus place and the Death Lotus always thought she was dead so they didn't go around uh, looking for her but during one of the missions that you do for the assassin they find out that the assassin is still alive and so they send people to kill her but instead of that she wants to kill them first. It's, it's great and Walter says this in the chat as well it is great I love how they intertwine all of the stories um, do the do the three that are do the Hayu what is it the Hayu G? Do those do the Hayu G yeah. and the um, Quinn storylines intermesh at the end? Do you know that yet, or is it? Is uh, it I don't I don't know that yet. However, it seems that the Bowl region is where the final mission of the Person of Stories ends. Like the Whaler will essentially kill Shima, the Assassin will defeat the leader of the Death Lotus, and. Uh, the old cultist will complete her stuff that she wants to die with. Although I'm pretty sure she won't actually die. I because can see it would. failing because she is all kind of uh, yeah. Im immortal. Um, I have a so question. Yeah, oh, so yeah, it finishes, it finishes in the bowl, but it seems the pincers is where the final mission where three of the adventurers go together and take down Quinn and protect Taiji from something. I could go on to Hayuji a bit because I've already really talked about Quinn, but what is it, Rubik? Um, is there like an end to the whole thing, or does it just? There's an end to the like, story. Uh, I know, I, I know that, but like, is there? Has anyone ever reached oh, the well, end of like the whole are thing? Way yet? away from that. Oh. The Pincer region is the last region. It's where you can get stainless steel, and, and that's the the last set of ship upgrades and stuff. But really, like, after you finish all the story of it, there's still the armor to be made. There's the armor and the scrimshaws that you still um, can make with the, with the port trade materials, which I would assume are going to appear very frequently in the Pincer region. Oh, right. Uh, it seems that each region, ever since we started first getting trade goods, the amount of trade goods you can get per mission seems to go up by one. So if I were to at some point, let's say <laughs> like join in sometime later, um, the, it, like everyone else would keep on going further but the, to, and reach a point to an end where I yeah. can actually catch up. I mean, there's, it's, not an, it's not an infinite series of whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's I mean, maybe the high score points. But, like, I, I, I don't think that it'll. Yeah. I understand. I understand that. I'm probably not gonna catch up, but, but like, I mean, like actual stuff. Because I know they're gonna. They they even said they're gonna add some more stuff to the in the future. To it. Yeah. 
Hold on a second. Jagex says a lot of things. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of... I had no idea what I was saying just then, so... It doesn't really matter, but good luck catching up. <laughs> well, anyway, I could go on about the HeyoG now if you want. Go, Robo, go! I think we should wait till Gordon gets back. Uh, sorry. I don't, oh, know, if, okay. sorry, I don't sorry. know if it's recording at the moment. Or... Ah. Okay, what did I miss? I see. <laughs> okay. Well, you miss Everything. nothing, really, so... Oh yeah, so Gordon, should I talk about the Halo G a bit, or um, should we, should we move on? You can you can talk about it if it's you want. You. There's not a whole lot else in this podcast that we actually really need to talk about, so just go on. Okay, well, the Halo G, uh, as I said before, is an island with a bunch of sea orphans on it. The biologist and uh, the convict and uh, is, I keep forgetting. I know the that the, oh, or the yeah the missionary, the missionary they all, and the biologists are th there um, doing yeah. their stuff. Yeah, un unlike the Quinn storyline, the, these adventurers don't tie in as much as the others. They all go to the same island, they all have their different goals with the sea orphans. The convict one would go there to start a new life over since the sea orphans seem to appreciate him, like they would give him a chance. He has a bad history and all. And so, uh, the missionary wants to build a church there and have the sea orphans as a following of Ceridoma and the biologist wants to do research on the uh, sea orphans to, to prevent diseases and stuff. It seems this one jumps around a bit like Hayuji keeps getting repetitively attacked by these people called the purists which hate sea orphans. They're, you could consider them the ham of the eastern lands. Uh, so for example the convict storyline, he's, he's pretty cool actually. Uh, at first, the convict goes there, says this is a good place to stay. End of mission one, or mission two, rather. The next mission after that, it seems that uh, one of the people he was hiding from, he had a bad history with, which was the uh, father of uh, his old wife that died, <laughs> that committed suicide. He he wanted to kill him, and so he found out he found out that the convict was staying at Hayuji and the convict comes to us he's like that information could have only come from this port and so like uh, we're like oh you can't just accuse us of that and so he's like oh I'm not accusing anything just I'm saying. just saying that uh, yeah and so what he does is he uh, tells the this person who's trying to kill him that he's the Khan of Hayuji and that the sea orphans are his army and that if they try to come here he's going to kill him and so the main or player character is like what why did you do that the sea orphans aren't fighters so die he's like oh that means you probably gotta go save them don't you how nice of him <laughs> wow wow so yeah like he basically put the sea orphans in the risk of their life and had us protect him from the sky who's chasing after him yeah orange agrees with me oh. wow yeah well that that guy yeah. I know the other two storylines, and Missionary is dealing with um, Zamorakian influence and silly things like that, and then the the biologist is way too chipper for her own good, and is, yeah, doing whatever she's doing. But, yeah. Okay. Rubik, you're late. <laughs> Watch, we'll get to the pincers and then we'll find out if there's another fourteen. I wouldn't be surprised miles. if they ever added if they added some additional stuff at the end. Just at, at a later date. Or if there's some kind of Five New Islands. But yeah, so the the ports ports update has a decent amount of kind of of brand new lore, really. It introduces Quinn, it introduces the Eastern Lands as a whole. Um, the, it has yes. funny little messages. <laughs> most. Yeah. Oh my god, most all the messages I've Which spent. involve ponies. God <laughs> damn it, Moltaire. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Really? I haven't, seen yeah. a, I, haven't, I haven't seen a pony one before. <sighs> they are subtle. It's subtle. It's really subtle. Some it's of the there. islands of the Eastern Lands are named after ponies. 
Yeah, I, I saw someone make a thread about that. <laughs> and they said it was like Bullshit. purely coincidence. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh, sure. Bullshit. He's a, Voltaire is a noted rather, brony, uh, isn't he? Odd. <laughs> Yeah, he he made a pony version of, uh, what was it, Coruscant and uh, I Jessica. Don't even know what that is. Oh my God! Mm -hmm. The voices. It's uh, uh oh, Boy Knights from and, the oh, Quest. Oh no! Oh yeah. no! <sighs> <laughs> right, well, that's that's terrifying. Mm. That is not a thought I want to ever. Yeah. Just no. Gordon, Gordon, what was that one you got with the Boyd Knights what? yesterday? You you've got like this message where oh the my ship passed the Void Knight, Knight ship. I forget that was in battle with extra dimensional aliens or something like that. I was like, what? <laughs> extra dimensional sea monsters. <laughs> yeah, but some of those some of those ports updates are hilarious. <laughs> the best one I got, I think, was like. Your ship is on course. Nothing bad you happened. Promise. promise. Like, yeah. Oh, and I got that twice in the same voyage. I was just sitting there like, ah, uh, okay. I was talking to Watcher about this the other day. We were thinking that what happens if we're doing that new God's Quest and like it's like a like a really dramatic point in the quest and we just get a ports update. Your ship passed the Frederick ship and lost a beer, uh, drinking contest. <laughs> I, I nice. do like those little random port updates that they 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 give me a laugh unless they're pony themed. <sighs> yeah. What was it? One of the uh, for Surtees, one of the, the captains was paranoid that oh, someone yeah. was trying to steal his hat, <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, "Mine. <laughs> what are you doing?" Yeah. The. Uh, apparently the captain of my ship admitted that he can't swim. And seafaring no. goes down. <laughs> uh oh. I, I, I yeah. already made a comment on that to Kitten, but I think should get mad if I brought that up here. Screw well, you and screw one piece. <laughs> blah 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 blah. Anyway. Get, each other, get oh, at no. each other's throats again, so. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Orange. His ship had a birthday party and didn't invite him. MMH did say like that. A... MMH did say there's like several, like a lot of people oh, in mean, Jagex that were bronies. There are far too many like, people besides at, Mon in, in the of world course. that are bronies. But we're we're not. This is <laughs> this is not going to be a discussion of this podcast. What? Oh, I'm here to judge. We're not here to judge. Yeah, but <laughs> the, we're not we're not discussing this here. <laughs> Yeah, anyways. Um, anyway. So, player on ports, awesome update. <laughs> Any of it. It was the favorite update of and the year, and it was in the lime. last month. By, yeah. By Lime. Um, I, he, he DC'd, he'll be back. Probably. He's coming back. Hopefully. Or maybe. Are you? Something. Um, yeah. So. Player and Ports, awesome update. It was voted number one favorite in the f top three updates of 2012. No big surprise there. It looks like it was about tied with... All the good updates for the end of the year. But, um, okay, yeah, I guess... Who is... I can hear myself in Rubix. That, that's Robo. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Your static is coming back. Oh no, I'll mute it for now. Yeah, it's good now. Um, oh, it's anyways, fixed now. Yeah, but so uh, it's, unless anybody has anything else to say about player and ports, we're going to move on to the next topic. No. God statues? Wait. I guess God Christmas. statues never yeah. made it on this Christmas. list. God. Who? Might get this. Mudkip screwed the whole oh, thing hi. up. Okay, Bye. then we're going to move on into the Christmas, Christmas hi, event, which was uh, Stray in a Manger. It was a cute little event that I did two days ago um, that was based around snow imps and the Varrock, whatever they called the Varrock, Mongrel, I guess is what they called it in the quest. Stray Dog. Thing. But yeah, the stray dog in Stray dog, yeah. Um, 
-hmm. It was a serious upgrade from the previous couple uh, holiday events, but that's not saying anything because those sucked, mm -hmm. what and they admitted events? that. So. <laughs> oh. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 excuse me, but exactly. what other holiday events? Um, yeah. The, like, event, the event itself, where you had a trade with other players, the idea was nice, but if, oh, I didn't even I'm bother. guessing Gordon, you had trouble I mean, trying to I, do that. I, got I didn't trade with anyone, I still got all the rewards, though. I got the Zeros Chew spare. toy, and I was like, alright, I'm done. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Like the Zero's Chew Toy was the last thing I got. The, the idea is good, but if you don't do it at the very beginning, you yeah, I mean, it's I got a few almost impossible in, to find so people it's to not trade. Like I was completely left out, but um, it's it, it, it is just yeah. kind of like eh, whatever. I I wish there was some way that you could do that. Uh, otherwise, but yeah. I just ran around and caught. The snow yeah, and blings, I, and I, I got everything in about two hours. Do that. I did catch a few snow and blings. <laughs> you, you, you can, like, if you trade with people, you can literally get it done in about 15 minutes. Screw it. Screw yeah. trading people. No, <laughs> there's, I couldn't there's find a anyone. people that were doing it while I was doing it, though, so after I was done, I, we, we all got together and traded. But... No. That's good. Echo. It's so annoying, though, when you try trading the same person. I don't think yeah, I ever like, did try to the do same this. person. So. But yeah, so... Um, sure, I don't know. That's just me had, then. I mean, they, it, was, it was a cute little thing. It had it was a nice... Mm. It had a nice god theme oh, yeah. to it. Right. Which is, I guess, a prelude to what is happening in 2013 to a lot of these updates that are coming up. Um... <laughs> Where you have to actually choose who you want to follow, and then I it gets one of them. It gets a little frustrating because because you want you you're stuck between two, or you want to see or follow two, or something like that. I guess. Well, that's me at least. I'm saying that a lot. Yeah, we're spamming the chat with Echo. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like if you follow echo. one, then you're missing out on the storyline no, for all the other? anymore. There's an echo. There, there, well, there was. I don't know. I don't either. Sorry, I don't know if that's me, but I, I honestly have not touched anything. So if it, there is, uh, it's not my fault. It is always yes, it is. your fault. <laughs> Okay. Blame your anyways, yeah, so the yeah, I don't know. I it's gonna be tough to see how they do that with a game like in the gameplay. Like will it mean that you have to pick one and then you miss out on the others, or do you still know what happens? Do you is it still basically like you know I, mean, I don't know. It'll we'll have to see how it is and I'm. They're usually really good with that kind of stuff, so I'm not too worried about missing out on whatever. But yeah, there, there are some there are some other games that are far mm -hmm. worse when you have to choose, and it's like, well, you chose wrong, and GGO. But yeah, mm -hmm. I gave Lucy the step. The next Easter event: choose your favorite God-themed okay. egg. And hide it. Wow. Okay, bandos, and then choose go. your favorite themed bandos bunny. Egg. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's if you can hear that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, if, but I don't think anybody has anything else. There's not much. All right, to say let's about move on to other than, oh, it's cute. The presents, but I, I, I don't think any of us want to talk about the presents. Just, they just are there. Okay, like, cool. Story, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. the, the All right. thing that didn't Let's make it on this list that I'm looking at right now, Mudkip, um, is the God Statues update, which was just a couple of days ago. Um, aside from the kind of silly bug that came along with it that let somebody get 200 million construction XP in, what was it, like 12 hours? Um, the what? Not, not even that it was like 
I, I heard it was like 50 mil in about two hours. Like, th that's how insane it was. I'm yeah, not exactly sure really the XP bad. per hour, but it was but, bad. Um, but, but yeah, somebody, somebody, uh, there were uh, several people that abused it, and they bu abused it enough to the point where the next day Jagex put up a news post that was like, botters and cheaters banned. It was like, yeah, they, they, yeah. Yeah. stupid people abusing bugs, they should know that that's not going to work, and they get IP banned for it, and now they complain. Um, but, yeah, the, um, the, the God Statues update, it's nice, it's once a month, it's, it lets you troll certain areas with statues that aren't theirs, right. if you're well. 99 prayer, and... Did did it like did either of any of you guys um actually do it when it first came out? I did. All right. Did you also? Like, ex well, when you first did it, when it very first came out, like the you saw the update timer and you logged in. Yeah, the day of release. Uh, yeah, yeah but you didn't stick were, to the up. No, no. Timer. XP rates were insanely low. Like, if you had ninety nine, you would get maybe. Oh, I didn't do it before. Like, what was it? Thirteen k. Rubble your yeah, staticky. Yeah, stupidly low experience. It was really bad. And it was like really bad, and I, I I had to leave after after I did it. I'm not sure when they fixed it, but apparently they did fix it. And if you did get those low XP stuff, you could redo it again, and you would get your XP rate yeah, or XP back. I didn't do it. You're supposed um, to get before they buffed it. I guess I did do it later that day, though, so they it couldn't have been. Ah, okay. Then, yeah, yeah, it no, was like I didn't. 30 I minutes. Didn't. Okay. Oh, wait. This update caused oh, Trevor no. to say this. Oh. oh, what? Wait, what? Trevor has officially <laughs> said yay, Jag. What happened? This up wait, why this update? <laughs> taking it, that may be sarcastic, we don't know. No, <laughs> no it was... Officially... It was... I don't know. We'll say, we'll say something. <laughs> I have no idea what you're gonna say. It was it was real. It wasn't sarcastic. Well, he literally said, "Yay, Jagex." Well, like, why does you like it? I don't, uh, because they buffed oh, the XP okay. rates. Cool story, uh, Trevor. It, it was kind of silly. Close to like, nerfing the crap. The update, the update itself was, in my opinion, poorly done. No, it was like no voice acting. They took all the statues, but like one or two from the Citadel, put it. And, and the D and D itself, I don't, and then I don't just put it at certain that. spots I mean, and is... put scaffolding it. And I thought I, it was fine. I, it is fine, but I don't like the idea. It could have been better it's in my free opinion. XP. Free I'm okay XP. with free I'm construction okay with XP. Lots of completely price. okay with this. There's some there's some skills where I'm not I'm yeah. not in <laughs> for free XP in. Um, uh, I uh, free crafting. construction XP is more than more than useful right now. Yeah. Yeah, and aside from the silly bug that people abused and people got banned for, um, yeah. Um, apparently, from what, what what was the bug did though? The I Robo didn't, tell was... me? I think it was Robo that told me, but there was there was some or no, maybe it was Mo. I don't know. It was one of one of you people that are almost or are comped. Um, they, there's apparently. A bug where you could Max, leave what happened? the scaffolding screen by teleporting or something, but then not. But then you wouldn't be actually leave it, and then you could spam click the button for XP like once every two seconds or something. So you're getting 25k XP drops every couple seconds, which would clearly add up ah. real quick. Oh. Yeah, I mean, and I was you getting I was, just maybe super fast. I was getting twenty five kicks. Yeah, XP I saw several pictures at level like eighty, that. so I can't imagine what it would be at ninety nine. Going, yeah, I think I it, mean, was it was about thirty k or something. I got thirty that would XP. Add up real quick, and you wonder why people were raging about this on the high scores. Um, yeah, and why they promptly were like, "Yeah, no, that's <laughs> not gonna work. That's not gonna fly." They also updated Botwatch in the yeah. same in the same thing to encompass LOL DG. 
and it actually is working. working. The thing is, like, one thing that I did hear is that they've focused it more on dungeoneering, and mm -hmm. legit people are getting stuck in it. I, I don't know why, the but botters that are really? claiming to be legit. I don't think people. I don't think they're legit. Well, I've gotten one eighteen solo via, I'm like, no, and then on a, and then on a bot forum. Well, it's actually, it is actually people just. It is apparently just people getting their stats reset to just one, but it's actual know. people instead of just bots. I don't know what's going on, but what I've heard. Like, oh, I think it's. No. I think. It's I don't think it. I think it's what Gordon said, that basically. They're legit, that they're, but they're not. <laughs> oh, like I've seen two threads where J mods were like, "Nope, we sell you botting from yeah, such and Jack such Mob, level to Jack this level on the and like, and, and they like. It's so easy. Yeah, wasn't there? Uh, didn't you say Mob posted down a thread? Yeah, it was that. It was that exact, uh, was that that exact that scenario that I was just talking. Was, some guy got was at 118 only soloing, and he was like, "Oh, I've been working at this for for so long, and then you reset my skills, and I've I've done this legit the entire way." And then on a bot forum, he sa he's raging. The guy with the same name, the same skills, is raging about um about how. <laughs> <laughs> the, the effing bot watch is doing something, and it's like, are you serious? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, it's just like if he should he should have pushed stupid it. Stupid people and freaking lazy. If you're not going to do the skills legit, just. I don't, I don't know. This, the game's not even about the end game. Like, that, that, I don't understand the people that bought for skills because RuneScape isn't even about the end game. It's about getting to the end game. Like, yeah. it's about the journey, not the mm -hmm. the end. Like, I, I, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. I will never understand the mindset of people who bought 99s. Like, gold farming is okay. It's not okay, but I can understand it because people are... Well... But skills? Like, what? Yeah. Well, here's a, um, what I've seen. Like, if you just go into the Facebook, like, we're going to say Facebook community, and it's just sad because you'll see 30 to 50 people every day, different people... Posting trading account with such and uh, such well, stats, maybe. and I think that's what and the, the fact whole that idea buy is. Them is also pathetic, but because it clearly, if there's if there's sellers, there's going to be people yeah. buying. Because otherwise, there wouldn't be an economy. <laughs> yeah, I never understood why people bought. I never understood. Oh why yeah, what Orange said. Oh my God, I saw a post with that. What the legit? That bodies. was just. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I heard about that. Yeah. I didn't read it myself, but... <sighs> there's legit botters, and then there's illegit botters. No! I, I know if it's possible to, like, hear a okay, facepalm, well, but if you could, chat, you uh, just turn it. Jagex, please explain why you guys would focus on banning legit players botting Dungeoneering. But not real bots who just bought for money to real world trading. It's a bot. A bot is a. There's no difference. There is no. <laughs> it's not really. Botting. There's there's no difference. <laughs> there oh isn't. My God. There, One, one's there, money, there, one's XP. That's a, I, like only difference you can claim. Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There is there is one true. other difference. One you wines more. Don't see gold farming bots <laughs> and that's true. botters yeah. whining. The only whining bots <laughs> are those that are risking actual accounts that are like, yeah. It's, it, yeah, it's intelligence. S stupid. Okay. Anyways, this got way off topic and I got, I got my monthly botting rant in, so it's okay. Um, it's, it's been almost like yeah, well, I mean, 45 minutes, I think, for the to cover now, podcast it's itself. So really far. not that much, because I don't think any of us are <laughs> people and mm. yeah. Huh? 
Well, we did get me a mex event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't think any of we us We do have are, mex events now. Like, like, oh my god, Calphite King. I'm going to no life it for three months to get I don't even know what. No. <laughs> I'm gonna see videos of it. I'm probably oh, never oh. gonna touch it for about a year. Like, I think, go in and try to kill it. I think... I, I, it took me I probably won't, to get to next. Because, yeah. Me. I suck at PvP. Lol DIY. <laughs> I've only been the next... Six more times than me. Seven times. One time was... Yeah. One, no, yeah. well... One time was basically... They get the soundtrack. Three times were just to kill myself. Oh, yeah. And I then went, I think something I else was the Death Darts, and that's about it. Robo and company on a journal hunt. And of course, they got two fucking rare drops after hey, I me. died with my key. <sighs> <laughs> I didn't die. I didn't bring my key in there. Why I never did you bring your key bank. in there? Because I got frozen and spammed. Oh, I see. He died during kill count. I did. Well, there was no kill and count. And you're not like, supposed I, to get I was kill count. Through the room, and I got, I got frozen and spammed. Yeah, you have yeah, to wear legit armor. You have to wear legit armor, and then once you get to the door, you. I thought it was. I was like, okay, we need <laughs> you dragon ceremonial or the not dragon ceremonial, um, ancient ceremonial. Like, okay, I'll just wear that through the room, and nothing will attack me, and it'll be fine. No, clearly that's not how it works. Yeah. yeah. So I got the stuff back. I mean, I'm not even sure how I did because I was like standing around looking for the grave and there was no grave. <laughs> and then like the armor just appeared yeah. in the ground. Yeah, I almost died myself. <laughs> I've only ever been an axe like once. Just camp there until yeah. someone had a rare drop. Yeah, well, they got, they the got the music a Virtus sleep. book and Tor <laughs> uh, boots. In the in the time that I was getting looking for, I was yep. getting yeah. 185 Bandos followers to get the freaking key. Oh, I got I got I'm it on the fourth she kill, got the key no, back that second fast. second kill of Sarah, and like twentieth of Arma, so it was pretty quick for those two. That's and Z and Zami was imps, so uh, that was relatively quick. It was like 50 or 60, but it was. Just uh, yeah. kill, 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 kill. But yeah, Bandos was 180 yeah. or something. That was that was just. Well, Robo, Robo was. Did, did you get back to your driving time or my stuff? I'm guessing not. <coughs> uh, yeah, you can't get to the yeah, when, uh, that I was, that, when that you have to make the key again. I lost. I don't know. 150k dungeoneering tokens worth of things, and 50k tackle worth of stuff, and oh. um, Dominion Tower gloves, and yeah, that was just <sighs> rather annoying. Because of Calphite King, which is the first update in so why second are we talking update about next? <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah. Or so we think. Th there's something going around that it's not supposed to come out for another two weeks. Oh, so Hades Hades Skull might be the next week's update. Oh yeah. Who said that? Hey. Really? Uh, um, I can't remember what J Mod said it, but some J Mod did. Maybe he's clueless. Yeah, they said there was already <laughs> like behind, behind the scenes. scenes did they even say next week? The week before. Yeah. There, there's a behind the scenes video, but they didn't, I don't think they said that it would come, be coming this clueless. week. Okay, fair enough. Uh, whenever it comes, I'm not gonna go. Yeah, because they, they won't even be able to put it yeah. behind the scenes video for the other updates, because the updates will already be out. Like they come out the de besides, I thought the part. Yeah, I, task I, if, thing for the desert task. If Calfight King isn't next week, I don't. I will be very surprised. I won't be raging. I don't really care, but I will be. There surprised. will be rage. Actually, there probably will be rage. It just won't come for me. No, no, no. There's always there rage. There will be rage. Great update, rage. Yeah. Terrible update, rage. No update, rage. <laughs> There's always rage. 
It, it can be the perfect yeah, update. Like, player own ports was the best update, and there yeah. is still rage. Um, player own ports, perfect pick one. But the, uh, yeah, Calfight King is probably going to be next week. Uh, who is the... Who is the mod that was developing it? I can't remember. But it, uh, it was... Uh, well, I mean, other than Chris, Chris Elf. Developing like what? In the BTS oh, yeah. Video. I can't either. I can't remember either. It wasn't uh, one of the I don't common, remember the top of my the head. ones that I've seen. It wasn't Wraith. It wasn't Chris L. But yeah, they were talking about... Huh? You? What um, Orange said? Maybe. Mod Hugh. What Orange said? I think it's it's actually Hugh. I don't... I don't. But yes. I think it is Hugh. I can... Um... <laughs> Yeah, might as well. But regardless, he was he was talking about I'll check real the quick. difficulty of this boss. And did Chris L ever think that Nex would be soloable? Uh well, there's made we just lost ninety percent of what you just said, Robo. <laughs> yeah. Uh dig it. Okay. Well, this Nex one is made also specifically to be unsolable. The mod in the BTS video Oops. said, I don't think this will ever be soloable. Like, pretty explicitly. And because it's built for groups of, like, ten. Oh, so it is H-E-W and not H-U-G-H? I mean, it's pronounced the same way, but... E-W, yes. The only Orange reason threat. it could be unsolable is if there's a DPS yeah. requirement in the fight, fight like Nexus Blood Face. Yeah, maybe. Um, It'd have to be a very yeah, high the, DPS requirement. Yeah, he was like, uh, it was pretty clear that this was for large groups. Um, for large groups of people, because he's like, yeah, you're going to be looking at people of teams of 10 going, which means... I, I don't even want to imagine how expensive these items are going to be if you're looking at teams of teams of ten. Excuse me. Either that, or everybody gets a drop, or because it's instanced, everybody gets a drop. In the um, because like the way they did it with QBD, is where it's a chest oh, yeah. and you get a set of drops. If they do something similar with the Calphite King, where everybody gets it gets an, a drop independently and there's 10 instances of RNG and so that means that there's no aside from the challenge of going solo or duo or trio or whatever um, there's actually no down there's nothing that's there's no drawback to going in a huge party I don't know they, that's something that RuneScape could definitely work on with PVM is um <laughs> making it so that going in groups of five, six, seven is actually worth it. Like, so going with a group of friends is not wa a waste. That'll that'll teach your That's what next was at first. to trust his duties to a parrot. Kit Kitten just posted in the in the chat a ports update. Ship hot wreck. I just got it. Done, the navigator, navigator well trusts done. his duties to a parrot. But yeah, so Calphite King, probably next week, maybe two weeks, anyway. whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that works out. I mean, I will definitely be talking about that next month's podcast for sure. Um, next thing up would be Hattie and Skull, unless somebody has something to say about Calphite King, but I don't. Yeah, Haiti and Skulls. We don't really two need to talk about Haiti and Skull because yeah. that's, that's what a question. happened. The, the only well, Haiti happened twice. Skull yeah. happened last year. Well, Haiti was Hattie added. Has. Um, Fenrir. Cause, oh, yeah, it was rumored this year the that there'd be a third one mythology. called Fenrir or something like that. And there was there was also but the speculation it didn't what happen. skill would it have and etc. But uh, it was all for naught. Uh, <laughs> About the que yeah, about the only questions that we have at this point it's basically is a just repeat how of last much free XP are we gonna get? Um, so yeah, I think that's that's all that needs to be said for that. Desert <laughs> <Yeah>. tasks, <laughs> yay! Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Uh, eh. Called it. Could be. I've heard there's going to be 89 crafting or something, like some high-level crafting and 91 <laughs> saving me. It, it was it was some yeah. level 80 crafting thing. That's all I remember. That's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun to just yeah, go through do. and do all the tasks because we already have all the requirements for it. I'm I'm actually. Well, it would be fun to have a goal to train for again. Like, but, oh well. But of course, you won't have to bring the water to your. Yeah, I guess that is a desert. Maybe it'll have a crappy effect. I mean, it could probably be a crappy oh, yeah. the water. They, they also said they're gonna um, make oh, two nice. desert weapons better, and. Oh, hi, Gina. Gina. Hi. They also said they're going to make two desert the weapons better and more useful, and that would be the... Oh, I can't think of the top of my head. Oh, Her that one Her is yeah. one. a desert the other weapon, isn't it? It's rumored to be I the could, dark light. I couldn't think of what the other one would be. Oh, dark yeah. Podcast. Derp. It makes sense. They, they would have to give it a whole... New stats, new level requirements, one because let's be honest, it sucks yeah, right the, now. Yeah. Always has. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean, that's I, it. It just is. <laughs> I I I I want to see what improvements they make to the Karis. As I think they're yeah, I think they're mentioning something about that being useful for the Calphite King himself. Oh, yeah, sure. And to have it buffed. That much. That'd be cool. Would be would be interesting, use. but we'll have to see. As that's a couple weeks away. <laughs> no offhand curse with an offhand dragon defender. <laughs> Let's go. Yep. <laughs> oh, I guess it would just need a unique ability. Walter says it doesn't have to be. I hear something much. strange. Just need a unique ability, and that's true. Especially if it if it's built, oh, that's the phone. if Calphite King is built for massing, if you just have one person with the Cheris, and it has some like a stunning ability or something, that would be super effective. Yeah, I guess that's true. That is very much. Well, I mean that's what it is. What like beetle that's busting? What the Cheris is. It's a, an anti beetle. <laughs> Thing. I mean, um, it's, it's an anti-beetle dagger. Let's put it anti-beetle thing. Because that's what. Yeah. It's, it's poison really it's version of bug spray. Bug spray. Okay. I, I like that. <laughs> it's a physical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyways, I, anybody, any other speculation about uh, desert tasks? <laughs> Who'd we lose? Mm, nope, not for me. I, I can guess what they're gonna be like. Get to the top of the agility pyramid. One. Yeah, probably. That'd probably be like um, probably something medium to do with. or hard. Oh, that's true. Not curses, magic, ancient magic. Ancient curses. Or and not curses, but oh, well. magic. Yeah. Um, ancient magic. Yeah. Possibly Cast something with chimp ices somewhere, I can, which would uh, require I can being ancients, and yeah. Oh crap! <laughs> I don't think uh, I did that already. I just did. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. That's we gonna be the a pain. Five ice chips and I mean, then the Mauritania the requires and stuff. Max temple trekking levels, so. You just have to do them. Well, I don't see the 25 ice chip runs is that hard. I mean, all it is is just doing it five was. times. <laughs> oh, it takes okay. us well, a day. Well, yeah, if you have the time yeah, I mean, to do it's it. Not, it's not that difficult. Think, you just have to yeah, do it. Yeah. And that's the case with a lot of them. Like, the Mauritania, the doing, maxing out on, like, summoning the ghast, that is a difficult task. That is straight up grind. Like... Nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. Not like, 
Actually, here, 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 well, you go first, Kenton. With EOC, I was kind of surprised how quickly they began to all the characters began to level up past ninety. All mine were at just about ninety, and it took well, less than a day to get ninety nine. All of them, I didn't. I wasn't sure what was going on, quick. but they level um, up a lot it's faster. The other two that are the problem, and I have level sixty something. Yeah, those are of, um, Leroy Jenkins and. And oh hi Jack, and level zero something of Smitty, and yeah, those are slow. Yeah. I guess what oh, Walter maybe. said because they didn't adjust it yet. Of course, maybe they, sure maybe they it was intentional. It yet, maybe they're just like, all right, we need to make yeah. it a little bit quicker. Um, and, and here's what I don't get, here's what I don't get. One of the completion escape requirements is, um, the just like the normal completion complete requirements is to do all the tasks. All well, one of the trimmed require <laughs> trimmed completion well, escape requirements is to do complete. Oh well. Yeah, so it, it negated yeah. itself basically. So what do you think? What before we move on? Yeah, that was way back when. Amulet will do. I copy that. Uh, they go have the water may... cure effect of the current yeah. water for sure. Probably, probably I mean, some probably some better chance of walking the no, perhaps a Dominion uh, Tower uh, pyramid benefit. plunder. Do you think they'll whatever. they'll combine yeah. the yeah. Dominion Tower amulet thing with the uh -huh, sure. desert amulet? Like you can use one on the other, and so it's not a waste of bank space. Good. Perhaps a uh, carpet discount. That's true. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, they already cost like they're probably just yeah, gonna be free. just make it free and but they're already cost like fine. fifty GP or no. Yeah, the cramulet seems likely. A carpet discount? Yeah, I can see yeah. that. Well that's how it Beer usually back. is, but the I mean it seems like it'll just be a bunch of small little, effects, small little effects. Add up. Um, let's see. Yeah, there are very few teleports around the desert. That's, yeah, it might, it might have been teleported or something. There's very few places wherever. that isn't spammed with teleports. There's. But the fairy <laughs> yeah, rings like, are well, all the, the, the middle of power, nowhere. Like the two fairy rings. The one you fairy have, ring is it's uh, pretty way the hell north of Narda, and the other one is yeah. next to the Calphite yeah, Hive. Like, that is literally near no settlements whatsoever that are useful. That whatever that little archaeologist camp thing, yeah, nobody cares about that. Nobody goes there. Um, I mean, you have Scepter of the Gods that'll teleport you to the pretty pyramid. Low, <laughs> low stones but useful. that's hard as yeah, shit to can, get. Yeah. And, then the, and then the Pharaoh's Scepter, which is the mini Scepter of the Gods, which is the same, but... Yeah. And I'll post so tell you that says you are not allowed to do this. Then there's something that teleports you to like the mine or whatever. That's south. The what? It's the west. Uh, Southwest oh, desert or whatever. Yeah, yeah. it's obnoxious. I it's that's pretty why hard my to house there palm, actually. Palm and Niche. And then you have the Slayer Ring Telly to Polly, and that's. But yeah, I've been just. I just had the put my house there. I used to have it in. A, oh, I still do have it in Taverly. Because well, I was like, because there was no teleport there originally, that and now it was useful, but now there is. I can, I can see that. <laughs> there would be future updates spam, but there's no desert quest in production. So. Spam. I can, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that's how we get to manifest. Yeah, so that'll, so that'll be interesting. We'll see what the, what the rewards for that are. It Better be, be good. good. Um, they're usually they've gotten more generous with that kind of stuff, but we'll see. Oh yeah, and there's mm -hmm. also the that you might they might involve like Alcarid somehow. Well, even well, though it's part of the thing. I already have one. Where you have to grow like um, potato cactus or something planted. like that. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, Alcarid is what one of the things I liked about the Alcarid is that Alcarid. it's a lot like Turkey in that it's in two different areas at the same time. No, uh, no, I mean, uh, like, yeah. Alcarid is in two different places, like Mistelin and the desert. True. Uh, 
Uh, Apparently, Yogg was saying in the chat yeah, it's uh, part of the CC a couple days ago <laughs> that Alcarid was used in either the Lumbridge or the Varrock tasks already, though. It was in... So, will they use that again? Lumbridge. Lumbridge. Might Lumbridge. be Lumbridge, yeah. I guess we will I'm sure they will. find out soon. Um, anyways, I think we've talked about the Desert tasks more than they need to be talked about. Um, well, I don't mind the Calfight King. That's that's a good one. It's <laughs> the only the good Flash update this mobs, January. Which is next up. Could be interesting. That that could that could be good. I never did that. I so. think that's just like a remake of the Goblin uh, raiding parties. Me neither. So <laughs> Got the Goblin raid stupid. party is a, is a joke. Yeah, <laughs> it's really stupid. You, you you kill them and anything they're attacking you get it so if they're cutting like attacking a tree you get the wood if you're attacking uh ore you get the ore if they're attacking yeah I somehow don't think they'll a do it that thing way, of we you can't we is so stupid it's like so stupid rats on potatoes <laughs> but on a large but on a extremely difficult large scale those were okay those were laggy well oh yeah. yeah. Those were just a lag fest, but yeah, that, kind of that and it, it, they were saying it'd that be it was, the same thing as a snowman raid, I'm sure. They would be Which you guys saw those. Yeah, it, dropping demon slayer armor, which is dragon armor that gives you increased XP with yeah, fighting demons, demons and a dodge chance equivalent to dragon when armor. fighting the demon general dragon. at the end of the flash mob. So that'll. Silly, and the show silly. picture of it at the bottom is all Actually, white and ceradomen like. It's a, it's a decent looking armor set, but yeah. Anyways, but yeah, I mean it's supposed to be difficult and um yeah, not much to say about that. There, it kind of came out of nowhere. Well, they're they're going to be in the. You know, um, we know they're going to be in the wilderness, but where else do we think we're going to see them at? I don't Probably know about like that. Probably like Gorok? Maybe. Different planes? Hey. Well, where is, where are that, areas that are... That would be interesting, though, if they're, like, in fairy ring areas. Demony. Like, it, that aren't... I don't know The about Infernal that. Dimension? The Maybe. Abyssal Demon Realm place thing, or whatever. The Abyssal oh, yeah, I mean, Realm. The abyss, the, the infernal area. throne room, the actual abyss, or yeah, the abyss. I, I couldn't think of it. I'm so stupid right now. Sorry. <laughs> the abyss. What Kitchen said. I mean, no. I don't know. Uh, that throne room from what was it? The golem. Oh yeah. Holy it crap! Was, if no, you go it, there it wasn't now. The it wasn't the golem. It wasn't the golem. It was something else. I know what you're talking about though. It. But at, is it there. the ruins of at Uzer? And then the and yeah, then the yeah. follow up. Where it was used in DNA. On a side note, if you go see the alt. Yeah. Mm. No, no, no. It was first seen in the Golem, where yeah, you Shadow just kind of saw it and you could it. steal the gems. And then it was and then yeah. the Shadow, Shadow of the Storm. Of the Storm yeah, boss that's what it was. Yeah. was reused, and mm -hmm. that was Leuni? Eruni? One of the two. Um, you see the d for, yeah, for Do No Evil. No, Maybe no, the room three was well. uh, for boss. If, well, if they popped up in, uh, in Darkmire or even even to in the woods to the east of Berg de Rot. That would be a really hard place to oh, get yeah. to. Maybe you could find them in the underground so, pass? I don't know. Depends on where. It yeah. Is. I feel I'm too many places to be spawning massive be amounts of monsters. Unless you're at the bottom. Because the wilderness is the absolute perfect place to do this because it's a yeah. mass expanse of mm -hmm. dead content. Um. Yeah. It's dead content they, because no one wants to go out there and get killed. There. There's no reason to go out there. Well, there's not much out there anyway, other than. Yay, graphics. 
True. And, well, unless you want to go kill bots. <laughs> no one does that. Like, I don't... Bots have... M Riddle most of them, not all of them, but most of them have moved from the wilderness to the... Uh, Which are not so brutal. Yeah, brutal greens. Yeah, brutal greens. But yeah, I can't that's, that'll, ancient caverns. I guess we'll see, we'll see how, how useful that update is. I'm just really the hoping it's now. not only in the wilderness. Even if they spawn more often in the wilderness... Than somewhere else, like I still if it is not in the wilderness. Them, like if it's in I would like to have the option of not getting killed if I ever do it, which I very well might not. Yeah. Yeah. If if it's in the wilderness, you know you're gonna go there and you're gonna get PK'd. Mm -hmm. Especially on day yeah. of the week. Obviously. We'll yeah. We will see. I I remember it existed. That was like, Just like in the my Willy second Worm. month of I need to remember what that was. So, Thing I never I went to. Totally don't remember it very well. Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember that one time when I was doing a clear scroll. Or not a clear scroll. I was doing the, uh, you know, the uh, enchanted key treasure hunts. Oh yeah. We have to go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I had to go. I had to go up into the wilderness for a few of them, and uh, all I brought with me was blisterwood stakes, the spade, oh, the yeah. key, and some food. And uh, <laughs> this person, like mystic and uh, polypore staff, was like trying to key. kill me, and I somehow killed them with no armor and just blisterwood stakes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then the I'm, final, uh, mm. the final one I had to go to, which is the last one. Uh, mm. I had to go up to the place where the chaos elemental was, and I didn't know the chaos elemental was there. So I couldn't, since it required a lot of clicking, I couldn't, this. like, and it. So wait, what? what was I had this to kill for? the chaos elemental with those Mr. Wood sticks again. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, yeah. That it was for one. the enchanted okay, key. Gotcha. You could rub the I key to touch that, if you're actually. hot or cold, and you have to I follow it. Do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He caged someone so, who did the chaos and was with the wood sticks demon for the flash win. mobs. I, <laughs> I guess we'll go through the those of us who are here and do a quick recap of 2012. Just best updates. Um, I mean, there's there's not a whole lot. A lot of people are complaining about how this was a kind of lackluster year, and it it kind of was, but. In other in other ways, it was pretty good, and you know, I'm I've already called dibs on my, the ports being my favorite. Um, d definitely the best update, definitely, definitely, definitely. But <laughs> other other good ones, go lime. I need to find one. Um, God Wars. Um, I don't like the God Wars, Wars dungeon great. rework, yeah. just the graphics. That was pretty nice. Yeah. That it, go, that, go line, they are great, go. especially compared to the old ones. The lore was nice. Too. Oh yeah, that was yeah. that was actually um, the, well, the obviously the jag motion. Yeah. <laughs> that that really was like the highlight of the year. <laughs> For any of you who haven't seen it, was the highlight video, of the year. You really should go see it because it is absolutely but no, funny. It is Jagex <laughs> trolling at its best. Penguins. Yep. In all seriousness, though, my favorite update would have to be penguins. I saw that. The penguin quest. I mean, I love yeah, that, that puzzle. Good. That, uh... What? That <laughs> battlefish puzzle? That was awesome. Well done, Robo. <laughs> Took me more times than Nomad. Walter's type of... <laughs> <laughs> yep. Any... any <laughs> okay, any other... Okay, what else? Robo and Ruby. Welcome yeah. to like, the shortest thing possible. Uh, well, I, s I still haven't... I'll let Robo uh, go. Oh, yeah. yeah my favorite update of the year would be year, the Fremenic Sagas. Because we got to see Bill Rush. I about those. Yeah. Just not losing my quest cape to break. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was surprised 
Ring of Extinction was easier than I thought it, it was going to be. It took me a while on the boss. It was. And it's, I, I can later. say that too. But I have an Some epic death montage was... on my YouTube channel, so it's great. But like... I, oh, I, did... I did bad because I, it, I, did I had such a charmer. I have and had nothing. No I ran out of runes. So, yeah. What? Oh, he was late in finishing Rubik, off. you're late. Okay, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Rubik was late in finishing Surprised off the boss. Surprised that that, that R spam word hasn't yes, shown up here. Shows, shows that we actually value the integrity of the game here in this podcast. Um, <laughs> either that or you're just doing it to humor me, because I, I, you know that I will, I will start ranting about it. The funny thing is, I'm... Probably the latter. Fuck you! Green's <laughs> favorite, the second favorite update of the year. It was a, it was a pretty update. <laughs> You've never, never really done it that much. The graphics are incredible. Uh, uh, I'll be honest, Rune's the it is yes. like the graphics are look pretty. Yeah, they are incredible. Rune span? Well, it was. Yeah. The only thing that got me was that galaxies yeah, were sandwiched really like in the middle. The I was just top like, the lo logic the window. It's floors. pretty, but it's like that would have been great. But it fits yeah. with the runes that are there. Like the middle floor has cosmics and astrals, and the top rune, top floor has deaths and bloods. Yeah. Like it makes sense in that regard. Yeah. And that's the way I see it. And yes, I really wish that the top floor was the was the <sighs> celestial galaxy kind of floor, but oh well. <laughs> the only thing that would make Rune Spam better for me would be if the entire thing was that PvP hilarious. and they release. <laughs> uh -oh. oh my god. That would actually be pretty entertaining. That would be. <laughs> that On would day be, of that release. Would be, that would be interesting. <laughs> and you can only use Mage and Runes you craft in the Rune Spam. That would be kind that of fun. That would be fun. They're actually, that's that would actually be. so true. That would be really fun. Like I mean, there's so <laughs> much mini game potential. It's a really good idea. <laughs> I suggested that to Mod Pine. He was like, that would be funny, but I'm not going to do it. Why not? They can, they can make a separate area. It's fine. Like, make Teleport certain Teleport to words. a different that, section of the runes band. Yes. No, exactly. no, it would have to happen on day release. That, that's actually interesting. Like, True. make it with the runes that you supposedly craft. Which you're not crafting, you're killing critters for them, but anyways, siphoning, sorry, siphoning critters. <laughs> siphoning, alright. Yes. Alright, I guess it's my turn to say my favorite update. <laughs> God damn it, Rubik! <laughs> I think it was uh, one Citadel, one Planet Avatar, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, you, you well, just, Rubik, seriously. just like to take them and lobby with them, <laughs> Oh. Crap. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so I, I, besides the so fact true. that it got tutorial island got taken away, I kind of like the I, wizard yeah, tower update one. with the, the Ariane quest. Yeah. Funnel, you like the real place. Pretty. And up and down. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forget who I was talking to yesterday. That was. I still that was like, Oh, it's always nice to have <laughs> an excuse to go back to the wizard's tower, so I can go. Up and down in the portal. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that. I mean, that, that really sums up 2012. The good updates down. of 2012, pretty much. Um, the the thing that they had, that survey that they had, included a couple other random ones. Um, bonus XP weekend. Yeah, right. That's not an update. EOC, I'm shocked that EOC was as high as it was, but then again, at the same time, it's like, all right. The entire month of May? You stupid people that are raging about it, that rage quit, and are like, nobody likes this update. It, it Actually, was a good update. We just you had... are wrong, because... Some... Oh, that's true. World so, Gorger. The one did, person who quit, did, did uh, World quit. Gorger actually returned to the game recently. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, and I only got the notes. Right? Here, here's what I found funny though. Like, well, we we didn't see any of the survey results before it happened or whatever. Before the 
live stream happened. And when they released the live stream, it was so funny when Wait, they what? said that. And they said that it was correct. No, I didn't. I laughed a lot, a lot with that play. Like, did, have you seen the live stream, the quiz, Quizmas oh, okay. live stream? Well, during it, they're at, like the J-Mons had to ask a question or else they get a pie in the face. And one of the questions was, what was one of the top, from the survey, what was one of the top three or four uh, liked updates? And they said, I think it was uh, Evolution of Combat. And I'm really? like, that that was wrong right there on the spot. It's and they were right. We'll get pies in the face. Which I found pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. No, it, oh, I mean, it's, it is it's the, the live stream is pretty funny. I'm like kinda, I I'm found myself entertained by it, even though how stupid oh, it was. Network. Dungeoneering XP is up there. Yeah. Potion flasks, I guess those are useful. Those weren't this those weren't twenty twelve. That was twenty eleven. That was that was oh, September. Yeah. That was the, the entire month of before May. ritual. Mm -hmm. The ritual. Yeah. Fail. Oh. I've if Oh yeah. No, it was it was. I swear, I no. It, it was September twenty eleven. Ocean Plus actually did Somebody come out. Derpin. Um, it's in oh, yeah. BTS. It, that was that month. Okay. I can pull up the update itself, the news post. RuneScape Be right back. Po potion flask. <laughs> Oh, I guess it was later. What was it? Oh, it was prayer renewals. Prayer renewals. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I'm stupid. Okay. They're both <laughs> potion thingies that you use for PVM stuff that I don't do. Okay, potion flasks. I Wait. guess that was... Okay, never mind. I'm s I am I am an idiot. It's okay. Um, but yeah. So... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to mention about this. It's entertaining. We forgive this, this, you. Uh, the Quizmas survey stuff, uh, they released the results, and that's up on their website somewhere. And that was that was uh, very entertaining. But yeah, I. Um, not really. um, but yeah, so I guess then we have exhausted our topics of discussion. We have somehow managed to make this into a to more than an hour. Um, yay, go us! I think. <laughs> Well, I mean, it wasn't like we just randomly stopped hey. talking. <laughs> Drawing and, out stuff, so... But we got a yeah. little bit off topic here and there, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um... Just a I guess... Yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna scroll down, and, yeah. Um, unless anybody has anything else to say... That's it. Um, that is not actually something else to say. Um. Ah! Oh nope. God. Oh no. Aside from from laughing at like base oh, model changes base this model year. Changes. Hey, at least they fixed the female. <laughs> oh, good finally. God. Aside from that, there's nothing for me. I. Can't. Yeah. Yeah. I still need to fix my hat. <laughs> Jack. Batwing armor still looks. Oh God. Strange on the female. I found that out yesterday. The Please. sad thing is, that's also 2013 in a nutshell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For a very different reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, so do the rest of us. So. Oh god. Um, <laughs> it's true. I guess from. Uh, I well, I gotta go. Yeah. Well, the call has been about an hour and a half. Uh, it took us a little bit to get started, though. This has been like an hour and a half. You guys don't sound <laughs> you sick know. anymore. Well, because I did over. Oh, no, thanks. No, it wasn't. It wasn't me this time. It was Gordon. It was supposed to start. No, no, no. No, yeah, no we blame Gordon. That's insane. I slept for sixty yeah, hours. So I guess on behalf of all of us, um, <laughs> thanks for watching. That's pretty good. And yeah. We will be back next month, hopefully with a little bit less sickness. Um, and and a and hopefully a god quest in the BTS that we can absolutely spare and, and maybe some god quests because we will yeah hopefully try us 
It will soon. Except, like, <laughs> wait. But yeah, so... You just have to tell me one word then, about that question. This is, this is well, I gotta go now, so... Bye. It for us. Bye. Um, bye. Join us next month, and we'll see you guys later. Dick's sword. Bye. Bye.